All right, so today we're gonna be doing a couple of field strips of my favorite handguns. As you see, we got the Ruger LCP2. We got a Glock 27, a Smith & Weston MP Shield. But today for this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing the Ruger 97 DAO, also known as the um, P97DC. All right, give me a second. First thing we wanna do as always, make sure you take the magazine out of the gun. Make sure the chamber is clear. All right. I can look in here. I can see that my chamber is clear. Make it so y'all can see. I can see that my chamber is clear. Cock it back a couple times just so I know. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cock the gun back. And if you look inside, where's my flashlight? If you look inside, there's a little pin right here. The first thing that you need to do. First thing, here's the pin right here. Let's see if y'all can see that. The first thing you need to do is press this pin down. And you'll see once it's pressed in, you can see that it's you can see that it's all the way pressed down. You're gonna take your index finger, put it on this silver button right here, and as you uncock the gun, you're gonna slowly move it, and that silver piece is gonna go in. Press a little bit harder. There we go. And it should go in. Once it goes in, you see, you can see that it's in. Once the little ball is in, you're gonna turn the gun. Let's go ahead and cock it down. You're gonna line it up about right here so that this groove sits about right where that pin is. If you look, you can see. You can see there's a little groove right there. Once that pin is in that groove, you're gonna just snatch it out. Put it to the side right here. Once you snatch it out, the gun is gonna just go back to its normal position. At that point, you can go ahead and pull it forward. From this point, you can go ahead, press forward on the rod and the spring. The rod and the spring, it comes right on out. And at that point, you can go ahead and move your barrel out. All right, so now we got our rod and our spring. We got the top, the upper um, receiver for our gun. Got the rod spring, got the barrel. We got the bottom of the gun here. Let me grab a, um, let me grab a rim right, right quick so I can go ahead and wipe this bad boy down. Okay, so these are the oil wipes that I use, the Remington Rim oil wipes. I like these um, by far the best as of now. I get these from Walmart, so I get like a pack of, what is this? I don't know, but it comes in a pack with a pack of 12. Inside that pack of 12, um, it'll, it'll last me probably about a year or two. Take one of these out. And I'm just gonna wipe everything down. I'm gonna fast forward through this on the video. Wipe everything down real good. All right, so once we got everything wiped down, I'm going to go ahead and reassemble everything, starting with my barrel. A lot of people ask why I didn't clean the inside of the barrel. Um, I clean these guns relatively often, so I'm not gonna worry about it today. But they do have, I know Remington makes little, little pipe cleaners that can go down in there and wipe those as well. Okay, now that the barrel's in there, we're gonna go ahead and line the spring and the rod back up. Let's see if we can get it in here. There we go. All right, and we got them sitting back on. You should see that it should sit flush just like that once you have it on. From that point, we can go ahead and slide our lower end back on. I'm gonna press it forward just, press it forward just a little. Put our pin in here. And we're gonna slide this into this groove right here. Make sure y'all can see this on camera. To this groove right here is lined up with this piece right here. Let's slide that back. Oh, there we go. Go ahead and get it on up in there. And now everything is good. We can go ahead and load it back up. And it's ready to go. That's it for the um, Ruger P97DAO um, field strip clean and reassembly.